Now in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how you will find covariance and correlation. Covariance means the variation between two variables, two specific variables. So we are just we have already discussed joint probability distribution. Now, so in a specific question, if they ask you how to find covariance and correlation, so one thing you need to remember. If variable are not independent, then the covariance and correlation will be equal to zero. So in the previous uh, example, which I already discussed, those two random variable are independent. Now I'm just going to show you that in a specific example that if two random variable are independent, then their covariance and correlation will be equal to zero. Independent means their probability will not be depending on one another. Just like, for example, if a specific student height and his or her hair color. So now the height and hair color or the skin color not have no dependency on one another. So that is why these two variables will be independent. Another example which I already discussed with you, the two variables will, will be treated as an independent variable when their uh, event probability not depending on one another. So you remember that I have already give, uh, given you different example that with replacement and without replacement. For example, if I have a box, there are three balls. One is white, one is blue and one is green. If I take one white ball, then the probability will be 1 by 3. If I put it back in the, in the box and I, I take randomly another ball, then the probability will not be changed. But if I take the ball out from the box, then the first ball probability will be 1 by 3. And if I not put it back, third ball in the box, then the second ball probability will be 1 by 2. So this now in this case, these events are probabilities are dependent. But if we put it back, if we replace, so with replacement, when you replace it, the probability will be independent. So now if two random variables are independent, then their covariance and correlation will always be equal to zero. If two variables are not equal to zero covariance and correlation, then in that case, it will be treating as independent variable. And in that case, uh, sorry, dependent variable, in that case, you will easily calculate covariance and correlation. So now in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how you will calculate covariance and co uh, correlation while using Excel and how you will calculate it manually. So in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that both way that how you will use Excel and how you will calculate manually to calculate the random variable covariance and correlation. So now these are, these are the simple example. X and Y are two independent random variable such that GX is equal to 1 over 4. GX is equal to 1 over 4 means that the probability of GX will be that gx with the x values are 2, 4 and 6. So g for 2 will also be is equal to 1 over 4. g for 4 will also be equal to 1 over 4. g for 6 will also equal to 1 over 4 and g for 8 will always also will be 1 over 4. And for hy, so for hy you need to calculate for y is equal to, for example this is my y. This is y, y and we want to calculate this h, uh, h, y. So now we have three values in random variable y, 1 and 2. So h, y, they already defined you the function. So you know this is a binomial probability distribution function. If you remember, this is p and this is q probability and this two combination with respect to value of y. So you already know that there are three values. So in this one, what you will do? Two, C is 0, okay, and 1 over 3 power 0, and 2 over 3 power, this is 2 over 3, 3 minus 0. Similarly, 2 combination 1, 1 over 3, 2 over 3, 2, sorry, this is 2 minus 1, this is 2, this is 2 minus 1. This is 2 minus 1 now. And similarly, this one, this will be 2 C2, 1 over 3 power, this is 1 and this is 2. And 2 power 3, 2 power 3, 2 minus 2. So when you using, when you use calculator, you will calculate, you can easily calculate these probabilities. So basically, you will calculate HY and G of X is already uh, we have already calculated and I already calculated for the x value. So x is 2, 
4, 6 and 8. So this will be your gx. So for all values of x, the probability will be same, gx. Now we are asking you, find mean and variance of random variable x and y. Also find z is equal to 3x minus 2y and also verify that ez is equal to 3ex minus 3ey. So uh, I am just going to show you that how you will calculate because I already showed you that how you will calculate these hy and gx probabilities. So now we can easily using these probabilities in order to calculate the joint probability distribution function and then from there we can easily calculate mean, variance and covariances. So I am just going to show you that. Similarly, the covariance, so the definition of covariance, the covariance of two random variable x and y is a numerical measure of the context, content to which their values tend to increase or decrease together. So, just like in correlation, covariance will also show you that when one is going up, the other will also be going up. So, measure of the extent to which their values tend to increase, their value will be going to up or their will be going to down. So, normally we write covariances, this is sigma xy, we can also write this e x minus e x. So, if you calculated this, these value you can easily calculate. But the simple formulation is this one, this is e xy minus e x y. So, I have already told you that e x y will be equal to e x into e y. When it is possible? When x and y are independent. Okay? Otherwise, it will be equal to 0. So, it will not be equal to this e x y. This will not be equal to e x and e y. Correlation coefficient is a measure of linear relationship between x and y. So, how you will calculate? This is the formula of correlation. So, when you calculate this while using this formula e x y, I will show you that how you will calculate an Excel example that how we will calculate e x y e x. So, when you divide with respect to the variance of x and with the respect to the variance of y, you will be able to calculate correlation of a giant probability distribution. But once again, you need to note this. If variable are all independent, then the covariance and correlation will equal to zero. So now I am just going to calculate correlation and covariance in, in a simple example. So this is the same example which I have already discussed in the slides that for the x values, for x values, these are the x values 2, 4, 6, 8 and for y we have 0, 1, 2, 3. And in the slides I have already shown you that for x is equal to 2, the gx value is 1 over 4. For 4 is the probability is 1 over 4, for 6 the probability is still 1 over 4 and for 8 the probability is 1 over 4. Similarly, while uh, as I already show you that when you put y is equal to 0, and 1 over 3 power 0, 2 over 3 power 2 minus 0, so you will get 0 0.44. Similarly, for y is equal to 1, when you put y is equal to 1 in this, 1 over 3 power 1, 2 over 3 power 2 minus 1, so you will get 0 0.44. And for x, y is equal to 2, when you put it, it will be 0 0.12. So, in order to check this, that the giant probability sum is equal to 0, you just select this and you can see that the sum of all this, sorry, when you select this whole, so the sum of all this will be equal to 1. And you can also check this from this, that this is equal to 1. Similarly, if you add all this, it will be equal to 1. In this way, we want to calculate mean for x and mean for y. So, the most easiest way, you need to write the values of this 2, 4, 6, 8 because we have and their respective probabilities 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 4. So, in this, you just write, you not need to do it if you want to use Excel into this, the corresponding probabilities. So, at this way, you will be able to calculate all these probabilities. If you click on any random one, it shows you that 6 multiplied by this one. So, at this way, because we know that Ex is equal to summation x into Px. So, in this case, it will be Gx because we extract these values from the giant probability distribution. So, you can also see this is the sum. So, this is our Ex. 
Similarly, if you want to calculate variance for x, so you people know the variance formula is e x square minus e x whole square. So now we need to calculate e x, and you know that e x square is equal to what? E x square is equal to summation x square, summation x square into g r x. So summation x square mean x square multiply with g x. So two to the four, four into this. So you can see, you can see from this. Two. So we take a one one. A one one represent this two value. This is the cell number power two. We take the square into g x. Similarly, you need to drag it down. So if you click this randomly, it will show you the eight square into their corresponding probability. So when you sum it, it will give you e x square. Just like this is e x. This is e x square. So if I click it, it's mean we will sum all these values. So when I put this in e x square. So e x square is thirty minus five is the mean. So five square is twenty five. So thirty minus twenty five. So five is the mean of random variable x. Similarly, for y we have only three values. This is the h y. This is y into h y. So we calculate e y. And how you will calculate? You need to multiply this with this. Similarly, in this case, you need to multiply this with this. So e y is equal to zero point six eight. Now you need to calculate y square into h y. So y square into h y. How you will calculate the same formula? You need to take why we want to calculate this because we want to calculate e y. We want to calculate e y square. And you know, you people know the e y square formula is the the e y square formula is e y square is equal to summation y square into h y. So in this case, in this column, we have calculated y square into h y, and you know this is the formula. They take the square of this and multiply with this. In this one, take the square of one and multiply with this. So you will calculate this. So variance of y, e y square minus e y whole square. So 0.92 minus 0.68, which is the value of mean, mean of y. So 0.45 is the variance of y. Now they are also asking from you that calculate z is equal to three x minus two y. So three x minus two y three multiply with x x value is two minus two into zero. So you will get six. Similarly, three into two you will take x is equal to two and you will change you will variate value of y. So three in the second one in this one what you will do three. Into two, so it will be six minus two into one. So six minus two is equal to four. Similarly, in this one, when x is equal to two, so three into two, three into two is six. Six minus two into two, four. So six minus two is four. Similarly, you will calculate all these values with x with corresponding y, and their joint probability we have already calculated. So these are the joint probability. In the next step, you will multiply. This 3x minus 2y with respect to px minus y. Similarly, you will calculate all this. So, if you calculate this, you will drag it down, and when the end, you will sum it. So, it will give you e into 3x minus 2y. Now, they also ask you that verify these properties. So, now in order to verify these properties, I am just going to show you because we have already calculated the values of e x minus 3 to y. So. In this place, you need to calculate e x minus three. So this is my e three. This is e three x minus minus two y. So you can write this three e x minus two e y. Similarly, you people know that e x value is five. So we have already calculated this value five. Minus two e y and we have already calculated zero point six eight. So when you simplify it, you will get thirteen point six four. Three into five will be fifteen. Fifteen minus two into zero point zero eight will be three. So this value is same as this value. So we also verify the law of mean. So this is the law of mean. If you understand, if you calculate 
the value of mean of x and the value of mean of y. So if you know, so you not need to construct this. But if I ask you to verify the last, so you also need to calculate this and you also need to verify this. Okay. So now I am just going to show you that how you will calculate covariance. So you can see from the screen that covariance is covariance of x y is equal to sigma x y. You can we can also write it like this. You can also write it like this. And the easiest form is the e x y minus e x into e y. Now you also know that how we will calculate e x y in the previous example we have already calculated x y. So x y mean 2 into 0, 0, 2 into 1, 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 0, 4, 4, 4 uh, into 0, 0, 4 into 1, 4. You can see 4, 4 into 2, 8. Similarly, 6 into 0, 0, 6 into 1, 6, 6 into 2, 12. And 8 into 0, 0, 8 into 1 is 8, and 8. To the sixteen, and similarly add to the sixteen, so the probability is zero point zero three. With each value of x and value of y, we also write this. In the next step, I just calculate the, I just calculate this, multiply with their corresponding probabilities. So, and I just break it down. And when I at the end, when I add it, so we just calculate it e x y because you people know. You know that e x y is e x y is equal to summation double summation x y into p x y. So at this way we calculate mean of joint random variable x and y because this value is needed in the covariance formula. So you people know that this which is three point four minus So when you put e x, which is five minus five into zero point six eight, so three point four minus three point four is equal to zero. And if you want to calculate in Excel, so you people know is equal to just is equal to so e x y because in the formula this is e x y minus minus now e x into e y. So this is e x value into E y and this is my E y value and close this uh, bracket and put it enter so you will get zero zero mean E x y is equal to three point four and when you multiply five into zero point six it so three point four minus three point four will be equal to zero so this value show what that x and y are independent variable. If these two variables depending on one another, then this value will never ever be equal to zero. So, so it is clear from this example that covariance is equal to zero. So, as I already mentioned in the slide, when covariance is equal to zero, then the correlation will also be equal to zero because this is the correlation formula. This is e x minus e x into y minus e y divided by this represent the standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. Okay, because standard deviation when you take the square root of variance of x, it you will get standard deviation. So you can write this formula like this, or you can write this formula like this. So as we have already calculated variance of x, variance of x is five and variance of y is zero point four five. So covariance is equal to zero. Zero divided by some anything is equal to zero. So I hope that you understand this example. How you will calculate mean? How you will calculate variance? How you will calculate joint variance? How you will calculate joint mean? How you will calculate correlation? So I hope that you understand this. If you still have some problem, then please contact me.